put off by how long this video is. Don't worry, I try to jam pack my videos with as much content and as much detail as I possibly can. Anything I feel I can comment on and that I feel you might be interested in, I pretty much put in the video. I try not to repeat myself and talk fairly fast. If the video is too long for you, I have recorded a shorter version and the link will be in the description box. Road Trip Moon Review Josh and Tiffany have been friends since childhood and eventually they became boyfriend and girlfriend. And this lasted all throughout high school, but then they go to different colleges in different states and they have to face the reality of how difficult a long distance relationship is. But they do promise to be true to each other, to stay together, and to talk daily. And when this movie starts, Josh hasn't heard from Tiffany for several days and she's not answering, you know, his voicemails. And he, you know, he thinks that she's cheating on him because guy logic. And the, you know, he's, he makes these corny vlogs where he plays terrible love songs and, you know, plays on a guitar. I'm not an expert, so I, I can't say for sure, but I think it might be a white guy with acoustic guitar deal. So, yeah. And while he's recording one of these, his friends barge in and he realizes he's late for class you know, the tape is rewinding, so he, you know, and he records these on VHS, which dates this movie even more than my copy being on VHS. Yeah, he's, you know, it's rewinding, you know, he, he really wants it sent very soon, so he asks, you know, one of his friends, Ruben, to send the tape to his girlfriend. And Ruben is awesome. He's like this nerd stoner guy, which means he comes up with really unusual solutions to problems. And yeah, he's he's awesome. One of my favorite characters in this. And, you know, Josh is talking to another of his friends, Stifler. I mean, Sean William Scott playing Stifler. I mean, E.L. He's basically Stifler, but, you know, he's funnier and much more likable than Stifler in American Pie 1 and 2. I have not watched American Pie past 2. If you're wondering why, watch American Pie 2. Now, he insists that Josh should move on specifically to Beth. And she's played by Amy Smart, who's sexy, charming, cute and sweet, and she's actually a character. And she, you know, she's great in the butterfly effect as well, which I will get to. Now, she, they, they hook up, and she, you know, she wants to record it, and they use the camera that he uses to record his vlogs. And, you know, the the day after, he's like, you know, really cheery. <laughs> E.L. puts it, you're bouncing around the room like Richard Simmons. <laughs> yeah, he, he kind of is. And, you know, he says, you know, yeah, I had sex with Beth. And they're like, no, no way. You know, and, you know, they, they're they insisting, you know, he can't prove it. And then he kind of, you know, his eyes move, you know, move towards the camera and they're like no you did not say okay and they're like you know doing keep away with the tape and eventually he you know agrees to them watching the tape and they put it on and what they see is one of Josh's vlogs and they're like you know fast forwarding it's 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 later in the tape or something doesn't really seem to be on the tape and he asks Ruben I, I asked you to send this tape to, to do not send it. Ah, I, I sent it you know earlier but and you know Josh goes through 
did, you know, is is the tape anywhere else? Did, did is there a third tape? Nope. He accidentally s sent the tape of him cheating to his girlfriend. But I mean, hey, it's it's not exactly the most polite way to break up, but he hasn't heard from her for days. I mean, obviously she moved on as well, right? No, actually, at that moment. He gets a voicemail from her. Her grandpa died, and like her mother is just destroyed by this. And you know, she's she's helping her mom deal with it, and like you know, she's she's called several times, but no one no one answered, and she didn't really want to leave this sad of a message on his voicemail. But you know, at this point, she figures he's probably getting a little worried, so she'll be back at school Monday. And EL realizes that does give them three whole days to get there and intercept the tape. And, you know, it's, it's a few thousand miles. And Josh certainly can't afford the plane ticket, so road trip. And... Now, they don't have a car, so they'll have to use Kyle's car, and he's portrayed by DJ Qualls, who is, you know, he's always enjoyable to watch, and he's fantastic as this compulsive warrior and nerd, and, you know, they, they eventually manage to talk him into lending them the car, even though it's his dad's car, in part because, you know, it he's going with them. So he can he can see that nothing happens with the car. And I suppose so yeah, just so it's said, in some ways, such as structure and some of the stops along the way, this is like the road trip segment of Animal House. Now, this might be the only road movie that I've watched. I don't really, I haven't really paid attention to whether or not the movies I watch are road movies. And this is based on the college experiences of the two writers and one of the two also directing it. It's Todd Phillips and they're, you know, they're Enthusiasm really fuels, excuse me, this, you know, this whole movie infuses it with non-stop energy. Now, this is around 90 minutes, so, you know, it doesn't overstay his welcome, and he keeps to a very fast pace. Now, this is, you know, one of the R-rated teen sex romp, and, you know, as such throwback to the 80s, of that genre. It's consistently hilarious. The you know the humor is you know bad taste. It's immature, politically incorrect, you've got stereotypes, sex jokes, gross out and bodily function gags, gratuitous nudity, not quite my bloody Valentine remake gratuitous, but quite a lot. And at one point in this it's actually pointed out this nudity, this is completely gratuitous. And at that point, even more gratuitous nudity is, is shown. So, yeah, it's completely unapologetic. And, you know, there's cleverness and wit. And it keeps, you know, it's sufficiently varied and surprising that it never, you know, really slows down. And, you know, the, the stops along the way you know, these vignettes, some of them you are not going to see coming. Now, it helps a lot that this is believable. It's very much set in the real world, which makes it, you know, much more funny as far as, you know, characters and events go that, yeah, you could you could see this happening. It's, you know, you, you'd hope that didn't happen and you really, you know, <laughs> yeah, but 
you can see it happening and there's you know which and that's that's an issue with some of these you know team sex romps you know they they just they push it too far and it ends up with you like saying nobody behaves like that or that you know object wouldn't act like that and such and yeah and this much it's pretty much all yeah now this does have a heart and it doesn't feel forced and as a rarity the party scenes are funny and more importantly they do not go on for too long now this is the only movie by Todd Phillips that I've watched and it's probably a good thing because based on what Film Brain, Film Brain says I'd probably hate even the first Hangover movie and both sequels are apparently terrible now I also have not watched the sequel, the spin-off, or Overnight Delivery now overall American Pie is probably a better movie than this but I you know I prefer this one I love this movie I've you know and I've watched it way more times than American Pie now like with Liar Liar I owned this on VHS since it came out and watched it dozens of times over the years now this video is the second in a series of weekly reviews of one movie that you know a movie that I've watched years ago and that really made an impression on me and for now, this, the plan is, you know, a movie that I love and one I've seen dozens of times now and, you know, that I own. And I forgot to mention in the Liar Liar review, these weekly movie reviews are only on, you know, when I'm not reviewing a video game or, you know, a recently released movie, a TV show or the like. Now, this has great music that you really find yourself singing along to, you know, Run DMC, Twisted Sister, The Eels. Now, the Josh is a pretty dull character himself. You know, we don't really know anything, you know, yeah, he's, he's motivated by being worried about, you know, whether or not they can stop the tape in time and he makes these corny vlogs and really worries that his girlfriend is cheating on him and you know or yeah he, he worries about his relationship with his girlfriend and he, he kind of more reacts to the plot than drives it forward but the supporting characters are so fun and memorable that you know it really works still it's almost like one of those insert yourself fantasies like Neo in the Matrix and yeah I you know the the three other guys who come along on the road trip are, you know, yeah, hilarious. And as is Tom Green in this, this is pretty much the only thing I've seen him in, uh, you know, that short bit in First Charlie's Angels movie. I was young, I didn't know any better. I, I don't hate him like some people do, you know, he's, yeah, he's really funny here crazy and strange but I can kinda see you know seeing stuff with him where he's in it much more than in this or seeing a lot of things by him I can see how he might get to be you know grading now I believe this technically does fail the Bechdel test like you know the the women in it tend to, you know there are more than two women in it and more than two women, you know, and they have names, but they are talking about men, pretty much, so, yeah, but with that said, the, you know, the female characters are actual characters, and they're some of the coolest characters in this. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.